In today's video, we are checking out the new attachment for the M16, which makes the uh, which makes the M16 a fully automatic AR instead of having being a burst. Uh, I enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Today's day channel goes to Terrace. I, I enjoy their content. Make sure to go like and subscribe and support their videos. Uh, obviously, watch their videos, like their videos, and subscribe to the channel. They'll be down below in the description, and obviously, they'll have a picture of their channel up on the screen. Make sure to like and subscribe to their channel, and let's get into the rest of the video. Okay, so actually, here are the challenges that you need to do to get the auto fire up the uh, fully automatic um, mod for the uh, attachment for the uh, M16. We have the you play three matches or win one match, this is easy of course. Deal 1500 damage or get 15, roughly about 15 to 20 kills in one match. Uh, not in one match, but you can do it. You kill one enemy using the Ballista Operator skill, which is found in the Battle Pass at level 14, I believe. I'll kill 10 enemies with any Operator skill. Then we have to earn the Long Shot, mod, med, long shot Medal five times. Kill 10 enemies with the M16. Kill Ten enemies with any assault rifle hit fire, and then kill fifteen enemies in the M16 equipped with the signature attachment, or kill thirty enemies with any um, assault rifle. So yeah, I think the, the worst one was to do was probably, um, but they're pretty fair. fair they're all equally dif equally have equal difficulty, and they're all pretty easy to be honest. So no reason why not everyone can't do this. To be honest. Okay, so here we are in the training mode, and as you can see, I have the M16 equipped, and it has the um, I think it's a wildfire perk on. So there we are, this is what it sounds like. Obviously, obviously I've got the red dot on it because the M16 has the worst iron sights. Can't wait for the legendary M16 to come out, honestly. Okay, so here is what the recoil looks like. So, actually not too difficult to control, it's just it has a bit of aim bounce. So it's really bouncy whenever you shoot. So I'll show you again. I bounce off and down, it's almost as though it's still like got the burst kind of bounce to it. And then here are the damage numbers up close. It does 40 shoots of the head still. Uh, no, it's not still. 35 and it does only, only, got, only drops down to 30. So you only need to hit one, one off body shot to make it a... Um, although two off body shots and one headshot to make it a three shot. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, two off body shots or, or one headshot to make it a three shot. Which actually, to be fair, isn't too bad because the recoil is quite easy to control. So this is actually up close quite a decent gun. The actual deep damage numbers of this gun are actually quite decent, as you can compare it to other metal weapons. Even, even out here, it's got 33 to the upper body, 28, and then 39 here. I think there's 28 to the rest of the body then. Yeah, 33. And then 28 to the rest of the body. Which is still a guaranteed 5 shot. No! A guaranteed 4 shot, even. I believe. Because, yeah, I think it's a guaranteed 4 shot. So, it's got some serious range on it if, you can hit, if, if you're accurate enough. I guess the one caveat is, I, I did say before it had decent, um, decent um, recoil. It is kind of, because of the aim kind of bounce when it, when it, when it, when it, whenever you shoot. Like the, I don't know what you're talking about really, the, the kind of flint whenever you shoot. It is uh, kind of slightly tougher to aim accurately, but if you can like master that aim kind of bounce, um, it's actually a decent, a decent weapon, you know. So now let's get into the gameplay.
GG's man. Jeez, man. Okay, so here's my M16 loadout. We have the IWC Marks and Mouth, the minus 4%, 4.4% ages, bullets red, plus 35% damage at range, minus 8.2% horizontal recoil, and a minus 8.2% vertical recoil. We have the classic red dot for the, uh, for the because of the bad eyesight, it gives you the red dot, which is a nice eyesight, and also it gives you a bit, a bit of extra zoom. We have the wildfire perk, which, which is the perk that you need to unlock through doing the challenges, uh, which is, it'll switch the, um, it will switch it from being a semi-automatic burst rifle to a uh, to a fully automatic like normal AR. We have the ODFC tech laser for the minus eight percent AGS time, minus nine point two percent AGS bullet spread, and finally we have the thirty nine round extender mag for the plus nine nine mag capacity. Yeah.